I can't believe you people are serious about this proposal. You have to sit here and listen to this. Look, let's save some time. If you can't go for two years at 15 and 12, an additional holiday, binding arbitration, our non-residency provision, and drop your contracting out proposal, then you have got a problem. There's no way we can take this back to the mayor. It's this simple. You either buy it or you've got a damn strike. Our membership authorized us to call a strike if we couldn't reach an agreement. Now, do you want a strike? There is no way that I can buy your proposal. Let's go home. There's no way we can avoid a strike. Glad you could join me, Joe. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, bring me one of those. What's on your mind? I asked you to meet me here tonight. Just the two of us. Now, we've both got a problem. We've been generating more heat than light. Now, we've got to find a way out of this mess. Well, remember what Truman said. If you can't stand the heat, get the hell out of the kitchen. Well, Joe, if we don't find a way to cool this strike situation, it's going to get a damn sight hotter than either one of us wants. Now, I don't think you really want a strike. The mayor doesn't want one either. But he thinks he can turn it to his political advantage if he has to. And Gaylord Jones will have an absolute field day with this one. I don't think you're going to be able to control this one, Joe. Look, Tom, just because I haven't been giving you any trouble lately doesn't mean I've turned into some kind of a pussycat or something. I mean, we can handle a strike if we have to. But my committee agreed that I should meet with you and, and see what you've got to say about this. I mean, we've about had it up to here with Ms. Martin. She does her job well, but she's got a lot to learn about negotiations. Now, she really thinks that you expect to get everything you demand. Well, that's because down deep, she's a compassionate soul who knows that we're entitled to it. Well, let's get to the point, Tom. We've got a lot of work to do. The committee's waiting. I think you've misjudged the situation. You're not going to have an easy strike on your hands this time. You see, we're not going to be able to continue bargaining with all the circus that'll be going on around us. See, it'll kill the good relationship we've built between us, Joe. The whole thing will be blown out of the water. Hell, it'll take years to get back to normal. Okay, okay, so I got a little hot under the collar. You know, but come on, Tom, you've been feeding us nothing but crumbs at the bargaining table. What does it take to get your attention? I mean, are you ready to make us a serious offer? I wasn't through bargaining yet. But if I make you an offer now, it'll look like the mayor is trying to buy labor peace at any price. Yeah, I know. It's the old rock in the hard place again. It's not going to be easy. Maybe we could bring the mediator in. Sam Stone called me last week to see how we were doing. Yeah, he called us too. Maybe he can find a way to help us both. Well, now, we, we'd agree to a, we'd agree to a meeting, but Stone would have to call it. Uh, that should be no problem. I'll call him, but he'll need some time. If he suggests a, a strike postponement, I think the committee will go along with it. We can use our picket signs for later. Think you'll need them anyway? Who knows? Say, did you hear the one about the labor negotiator that died and went to heaven? And uh, St. Peter said, uh, hey, uh, were you a good boy down there in your life? He says, oh, yeah, yeah, I was a good boy. Every day the sun goes up, we open up our eyes. We start the day with warm hellos and white clouds sailing by. We've got so many things to do and so much land to see. We stretch our hands out to each other and get it together naturally. Jones with today's commentary on the local news.
As I reported last night, the city of Waldenville and its city employees have reached an impasse in their contract negotiation. The union has called a strike which will become effective Monday morning. Ironically, the strike will begin just about the time the citizens of Waldenville begin making up their minds about who should receive their vote in the election for mayor. And this is a scenario which I am sure doesn't give incumbent Mayor Jim Hobson much comfort. In fact, this entire scenario seems uniquely devoid of happy endings, not only for embattled Mayor Hobson, but for the union, the city administration, and for the people of Waldenville. However, in a last-ditch attempt to reach an agreement, the city and the union have accepted the assistance of the mediation service. From its office in Gainesburg, the service has assigned Sam Stone to mediate the Waldenville dispute. And so the city waits. The election approaches, the people wait, to see if Sam Stone can author a happy ending for what may be a most tragic chapter in Waldenville history. I'd like to express my appreciation to both of the parties for your concise, comprehensive presentation of the issues that separate you from agreement. As a result of our discussions, I think I have a general understanding of the problems. According to my record, our difficulty is with eight unresolved issues, and they are as follows. Term of agreement, wages, an additional holiday, arbitration, educational incentive, a no-strike clause, subcontracting, and residency. Now, gentlemen, does this constitute a complete listing of all unresolved issues? Mr. Murphy? Yes, Mr. Mediator. Mr. Calloway? There are no other issues in dispute. You're sure you've covered all the issues? If we resolve these, then we've got a contract. This is the whole ball of wax. That's the problem, Mr. Mediator. What is? The whole ball of wax. We had several of these issues nearly resolved. We were very close. Then they came in with this all-or-nothing attitude. You know, we were making quite good progress on these issues individually. Then all of a sudden, they issue us an ultimatum on a package. We offered you a sound proposal. It was a damned ultimatum, Joe, and you know it. Gentlemen, please, I need your cooperation. Now, don't bog us down at this point in time with a procedural problem. You both know we're working under the ground rule that we resolve all issues or we don't get a contract. How do you want to proceed, Mr. Mediator? Now that we've jointly reviewed the issues, I'd like to talk with each of you separately. Since the union was last to propose, I'd like to talk with the city committee first. So if you don't mind, Joe, why don't you and your committee step down the hall and I'll be along in a while. Okay. I don't know, Sam. I'm not so sure we can get a contract. Well, we're sure going to find out. Let's get right down to the guts of this thing. You said you were close on some of these issues. Tell me where you've got some movement. 